Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Friday the 16th of September, and by now you've all probably seen the pictures and videos of the royal family walking the Queen's coffin from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall, where she is now lying in state. We saw the procession, we saw the royal family walk behind the coffin, we saw Harry and both Andrew not in their military uniforms. And I explained in a previous video why they wouldn't be in their uniforms. They're not entitled to do that as working members of the, or non-working members of the royal family, and they hold no military titles. So that's why they are not allowed. So when I saw this headline last night, I was enraged. I was incandescent with fury. But having actually read the article, I now understand that things are not quite as they seem. Harry and Andrew will be allowed to wear their military uniforms for 15 minutes in a private vigil. That's it. They are not allowed to wear their uniforms for the funeral on Monday, which is what I originally thought when I read the title. Very misleading. But it's just purely for 15 minutes. All eight grandchildren will stand in quiet contemplation around the Queen's coffin for 15 minutes on Saturday as a mark of respect. And apparently this was at King Charles III's request as well. So it was King Charles himself that requested that Harry be allowed to wear his military uniform during the 15 minutes vigil on Saturday. Of course, I'm with Scooby had plenty to say on the matter. I always find his tweets quite funny because he tries to play the neutral one, but he never really can because he's been so vile in the past and he does it all for hate baiting. He tweeted, update in a dramatic U-turn palace officials have informed Prince Harry that he can wear his military uniform at a final vigil Vigil. On Saturday evening, Harry will join seven other grandchildren at Westminster Hall to stand in silence for 15 minutes by the Queen's coffin. The reversal, first reported by the Mirror, follows Harry's statement saying his military service is not determined by the uniform he wears, but it is understood the palace caved to public sentiment after thousands complained about the decision to ban him and not Prince Andrew. Update. Palace confirmed all eight grandchildren to stand vigil beside the Queen's coffin on Sat Eve. William flanked by Zara and Peter at the head. Harry flanked by Beatrice and Eugenie at the foot. Louise and James at the middle. At Charles's request, that's King Charles, Omid Scooby, brothers will be in uniform. I do find it a bit weird that all the funeral plans were meticulously down to the Queen. She planned it all. So this seems to be quite an unusual U-turn. Though granted, it's not at the funeral, just at a private vigil. I wonder how this turnabout really came around. Whose request was it? Whose demands was it? And whose behaviour made it happen? I'd love to know your thoughts on that one. Now, some camps say, well, this is an olive branch. It's time to heal old wounds. That's not what I say. I say the past two years have absolutely been a diabolical mess with grievances thrown towards the royal family in spectacular style on a worldwide stage, only to them to cave. But then some would say it's a show of respect. But Harry isn't entitled to wear his military uniform. End of story. And me personally, I don't think they should have caved at all. He made his choice. He chose his path. And now he has to live with the consequences. And it's only at the grandchildren's vigil. So surely wouldn't that be the perfect time for nobody to wear their military uniforms and just purely have morning dress? Harry, like all other veterans in this country that are no longer serving and do not have military titles, is not entitled to wear his uniform. Yet again, the palace seems to cave on public demand, and it really does worry me. But, plain devil's advocate, perhaps it's a compromise. Perhaps Harry was being adamant that he wanted to wear his uniform at the funeral, and to appease his request said, no, you can't. It is against the rules. However, we'll let you wear your uniform at a private family vigil. I suppose that's a compromise, isn't it? Rather than kick up a massive fuss. Not at the funeral itself on Monday, but at a private vigil. It's a wise compromise, some would say. And it will be interesting to see what happens in the future when it comes to the attacks on the royal family 
that have come so often with Harry and Meghan. Let's not forget there are now major rumours that Harry's memoir will be released in November. Hell of a coincidence, isn't it? The Queen passes away and boof, out comes his memoir. Only a few short months later. I wonder if King Charles will be so forgiving if uh, he gets well and truly slaughtered in Harry's book. Rumour has it that it's uh, King Charles's wife, the Queen Consort, that Harry is going all guns barrelled at. And a lot of people are saying, well, it's King Charles's decision. It's his wish that Harry should be in uniform for the private vigil. So on his head be it. Personally, I don't understand how he's been allowed to wear the uniform. He's no longer a serving member of the armed forces and he's no longer holding any military titles because he's not a working member of the royal family. He stepped down and I'm, I'm a bit lost at this. I really, really am. I understand why it's been done, but I don't think the optics look particularly good. Remember, the Queen refused Harry's request to wear uniform at Prince Philip's funeral. Tradition and protocols were important to Her Majesty, but it seems that rules have been slightly bent for Harry on this occasion. Now, a lot of you will be worried about the presence of Meghan and Harry in such events, like walking behind the coffin as the Queen was taken from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall, and that Meghan was in Westminster Hall herself. Remember, this is optics. This is a very volatile time. The whole world is watching, so they have to be very, very cautious on this one. But I understand a lot of you will be quite rightly angry that Meghan herself has been involved after everything she said on Oprah about the royal family. But just remember, she's the one that said this and she's the one that has to face them. But hey-ho, according to everybody, she's a narcissist and uh, narcissists don't really care about what other people think. It's purely just about themselves. This is purely optics and it's almost as if they're playing a game of chess. How can Meghan in the future go and slate the royal family if they included her in this very private yet watched event. She can hardly call them racist if she's been included and allowed to take part in all of these events. There is a slight difference with regards to the funeral on Monday though, that other royal family members will walk behind Her Majesty's coffin, but Meghan Markle and Sophie Wessex will follow in the Queen's funeral procession in a car. So the Prince and Princess of Wales, Harry, Edward, Andrew, King Charles and the Queen Consort will all follow the coffin on Monday. Meghan and Sophie will follow in a car. Now I find that rather wrong with regards to Sophie because Sophie Wessex was incredibly close to the Queen. She was her confidant and the Queen held her in extremely high regard and I just think poor Sophie, she should also be included but maybe she has again playing devil's advocate said I'll be with Meghan. You know, Sophie, ever the diplomat, maybe has taken the high road. So I would love to know your thoughts on this. Do you think that it is apt that Harry has been given the opportunity to wear his uniform at this private vigil for the grandchildren? Or do you think it's just caving in to his so-called demands? As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.